Yo, this is for the believers only. Are you prepared to look crazy for God? Are you prepared for the ridicule that's going to come when you decide to walk with God? See, this is the part of the faith walk that nobody likes to talk about. See, because when you start really, really actively walking in your faith, the world is not going to understand it. Your family, your friends, your co-workers, the people that's around you, they're not going to understand it. Why? Because they're living in the world that Satan runs, the world that is run by our senses, where we can see, touch, taste, hear, smell, right? Where we can only physically register. But God lives in a realm that's above the senses, right? He lives in a realm, in a spiritual realm, that only you and him have a connection to. So that's where your faith is going to live. So when you start actively walking in that faith, the people that can't understand what you're doing, they're automatically going to start slandering your name. They automatically going to start calling you crazy, stupid, delusional, a, a, a re-read, right? Um, assassinating your character, telling everybody all kind of lies and gossip about you, right? Trying to make you look like you're less than what God has called you to be. You're not fit to be doing what God has called you to do. You're not this. You're not that. Be prepared. Your faith has to be stronger than that. What they say in the scripture, uh, let him that be in you be stronger than him that is in the world. That's where your faith has to be stronger than whatever's going on in the world. Because just like we're God's children, Satan has children too. And that's who he's going to use to attack you, to verbally slander you, to throw word curses at you, to try to diminish your dreams or your goals or your purpose that God has assigned specifically for you. Your faith has to be stronger. Because what you're doing, the world cannot understand it. So if they cannot understand it, they automatically criticize, critique, and down talk it. Remember the scripture says, this is God talking. He says, my ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. So when you start operating in those things that God has called you to do, the world that can't perceive it is going to call you crazy by default. Keep going. Build your faith up. Build your strength up in God. Know that there's nothing that anybody can say about you that can deter you from the goal and the purpose that God has instilled in your life.